What is going on, Jets Nation? We are in the car here in the parking lot of MetLife Stadium. The NFL Draft is still happening right now, but I decided I want to make a quick video from the phone with Jack Yo. to give you guys our reaction to Olu Fashanu being the Jets draft pick officially, okay? It just happened, and I got a lot to say, man. I think that this move, especially from the New York Jets trading down from 10 to 11 and moving up from the sixth round to get a extra fifth and a fourth to get more ammunition in day two and day three, and for the Jets to pick up the best pure left tackle in terms of pass protection in the entire draft in Olu Fushanu, that is the safe route. Now, is it the sexy route? Is it the sexy pick? It was not. Now, you guys know me. I have been very consistent of who I wanted this entire draft process. It was Roma Dunze. He was my draft crush. I wanted him there, but unfortunately, he went at number nine to the Chicago Bears. So then the New York Jets at number 10, you got to give Joe Douglas credit. He called up Minnesota. He's like, hey, we got suitors. Denver, who just took Bo Nix, they wanted to leapfrog the Minnesota Vikings to number 10. So what Joe Douglas said to Minnesota probably was, hey, do you want this 10th overall pick? Because if you don't take it, then we will give it to Denver and they will, you will not get your quarterback. So I think the Jets moving back one slot and getting that ammunition needs to be talked about about this draft pick of Olu Fushanu. Now more about Olu Fushanu instead of a playmaker. You guys know I was team playmaker over um, an offensive line, but you cannot go wrong. You can absolutely not go wrong because what this does is it opens up this New York Jets offensive line for the future. The New York Jets now got their hopeful franchise left tackle, Tyron Smith, Tyron Smith generational left tackle, is going to sit and really understand how to develop a guy in Olu Fushanu for the future. This offensive line is now set up for the future. Joe Douglas has been trying to build a wall since he got here, and now he's going to try to do that with Olu Fushanu. Jack, what's your thoughts about the draft pick of Olu? Welcome to the team, Olu. I'm super excited to have you here. Listen, man, obviously Brock Bowers was the sexier pick. Obviously, Adunze wasn't an option at that point. But listen, man, as Richie just alluded to, Tyron Smith, wonderful player. Absolutely couldn't ask for a better player to teach up a guy like Fashanu. But let's face it, he's probably only going to be here for a year, and he has had a decade, a decade's worth of injury history. So taking a guy like Fashanu shores up that left tackle spot for hopefully many, many years to come. He's going to spend his first year learning behind one of the best we've seen in my lifetime. Um, and I think it's a great pick. Listen, a guy like Bowers, obviously the sexier option, but this is the safer option, especially when you have a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, 40 years old, coming off that horrible Achilles injury. You need depth on the offensive line. You can't get enough, de enough depth on the offensive line, especially at the tackle position, which is, you know, obviously a premier position in the sport that we mm -hmm. all love. So, Fashanu, welcome to the squad. Excited to have you here, man. And let's see what we can do. Let's see what we let's can do. Let's do it, baby. Man. I, I, listen, I like this pick a lot from the standpoint of getting that extra ammunition because now tomorrow's going to be very interesting. I'm expecting the Jets to get aggressive and trade up in the second round potentially for a wide receiver because it seemed like they really wanted Roma Dunze and they were not able to get him. So I think now that the Jets were able to trade back, get that extra assets, and getting their left tackle for the future, this offensive line looks really good. Morgan Moses at right tackle. Uh, you know, uh, Tyron Smith at left tackle, and then we got Fashanu sitting and learning behind. And listen, Fashanu most likely will play as a rookie. And now all of a sudden, the offensive line, which was one of the biggest weaknesses on this team heading into the offseason, could be one of the biggest strengths of this entire offense. And we know what this team would look like with an elite offensive line with the guys that we got under center in Aaron Rodgers and Tyrod Taylor, Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Mike Williams, and the boys. Job's not done. Joe Douglas still got more work to do tomorrow night and, of course, on Saturday. Jets fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. How do you feel about Olu Fushanu being the newest member of the New York Jets? Again, it's not a draft pick that most Jets fans are going to be cheering for joy, but it is a absolute safe pick where you cannot go, you cannot be mad about this pick personally. Like nope. if you're a Jets fan and you're upset about this pick, I I disagree with that. I think this is the safest route where you talk about boom or bust. This is not boom or bust. Brock Bowers, as much as I love them as a prospect, he's boom or bust, and it's a really big risk to take a tight end like that. I would have been happy for Brock Bowers, but instead, Joe Douglas elected to go with the safest pick he can get, the best pure left tackle at pass protection in this entire draft in Olu Fushanu. And our, honestly, when I first started my draft process all the way back in January and December, Olu Fushanu was the first guy I even did my homework on, thinking that the Jets can get him at number 10 comes full circle, full circle, the Jets get him at number 11. So sound off in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button, guys. I'm going to head back to Long Island with Jack right now, and I'll see you live tomorrow on Jets Media. Let's go, Jets. Let's J -E -T -S. go, baby. Jets, 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 Jets. Jets. From Jet Life Stadium, baby.
Peace out, guys. Peace.